Dear Muji, the urge to know my true self seems to be both from the ego and separate from the ego. Could the ego wish to transcend the ego? The true self has no urges, it simply is. Well, if you know this, why are you going to write me about it? Are you making a statement here, and can you know, is it the statement being made from the awakened being? With deepest gratitude, Mike, watching from Colorado. The urge to know my true self seems to be both from the ego and separate from the ego. Could the ego wish to transcend the ego? There is no such thing as only ego, only mind, only, only anything. It's all relationships we are talking about. Ego is uh, something we call ego when the beingness, the manifest self, is identifying with the body or with conditioning, then it gives rise to ego. Apart from that, they can, there's no place for ego. It doesn't exist. It's the relationship, or the child of that relationship is the ego. You may feel like this. You know, such thing as this ego. So the question: Could the ego wish to transcend the ego? Can only be relevant if you understand what I just said just now. That you know, can the ego transcend the ego? It's not. It's just the mind is here. I has not really understood what is meant by ego. It's, so it's mostly just sort of con- um, intellectual thing. The true self has no urges. It simply is. It is true. But are you true? And are you true? This is what I want to know. I want to meet this one. Hmm? I say, my guess, you're not true. Maybe it's a conclusion you'll have for a few hours, a few minutes, maybe a few days. But will you have this conclusion for a few weeks, a few months, unshaken? <coughs> I would like to. I'm willing to look a bit more closely with Mike to see if Mike, if Mike is just a Mike. <laughs> that the self is speaking through. <laughs>